In this video, I'm going to teach you how to troubleshoot an X13 ECM motor. Okay, let's get straight to it. On this motor, you have something that says CLGN. Don't worry that this is a plug. Sometimes this is built into your motor and it's on the side of the motor, kind of like that right there, right? This just happens to have a wire. So it's the same thing. All right, so when you read it, it'll say, CLGN on the plug, and then you'll have some numbers, one, two, three, four, five. If it's on the side of the motor, same thing. It'll say CLGN, one, two, three, four, five, okay? L in N is your high voltage. Nine times out of 10 is gonna be 240 volts. This motor will have high voltage on it and low voltage. It takes both of them. It'll have high voltage 24 seven, always. So you're going to test L and N and see if there's 240 right there. If there's 240, you're good. If there's not, you need to go back and see why there's not 240. This motor, like I said, it'll have 240, 24-7. Then when it's time to run, it'll have 24 volts on it. If this motor has 240 and 24 volts, it has to work. If it has 240 and 24 volts and it's not running, it's bad. You can replace it, no issues. So how you test that is, once again, L and N is your high voltage. Test L and N, you should have 240. If you do, then you're going to test C. Remember I told you it says CLGN. C is your 24 volt common. Any one of these numbers, one, two, three, four, five, is your 24 volt hot. And you can have a signal on all of them or one of them, doesn't matter, right? Sometimes they'll put a signal on two of them to make a certain speed, sometimes one of them, sometimes all of them. So you're gonna go to your thermostat, you're gonna hit fan on, you're gonna test L and N, 240, then you're gonna take your meter, you're gonna put it on C, which is 24 volt common, then you're gonna put it on one of these numbered ter terminals. If you have 240 and 24 volts and it does not spin, it is bad. Replace that motor, okay? Obviously, if you have 240 and you don't have 24 volts, you have to figure out why you don't have 24 volts. You'll have to go back to the board or the thermostat. But if you have 240 and 24 volts, it's bad. Very easy. CLGN, one, two, three, four, five. Simple. C is 24 volt common. Any of the numbers are 24 volt hot. L and N is high voltage, G is a ground terminal. Next question, okay. Sometimes people just replace the module instead of the motor, right? Easiest way, replace the whole thing, okay? But just to answer the question, if you're gonna just replace the module, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take these two screws off right here. One, two, this module's gonna pop off. You're gonna to have to disconnect it. This is the motor, the module is gone. The module will unplug off of these two. You take the new one, you plug it in, boom, boom, put it in, put those two screws back in. One, two, easy. Just make sure it's the correct module for the motor. All right, so hopefully that helped you on how to troubleshoot these ECM motors. If you have any questions, just put them down in the comments. All right, peace.